Hey guys, welcome back. We're on the C20 again. I got some more parts. I got for it. Uh, I got some new header bolts because the old ones are stripping out. Um, some power steering fluid, antifreeze. This is just shop supplies, but a new breather because the old one had, or the the old one, I should say, the new one, but old one that I got for it, it had too big of a hole. So this one's got the right size hole, some spark plugs, and then some exhaust hangers because. I, uh, just for now, I, I set the welder on the top tray and then I was able to route the line and everything. So I should be able to finish weld the exhaust. Um, the headers that are, that are uh, just enough for me to get it started. So once I do that, um, I might actually finish the exhaust depending on if my buddy comes over. My buddy comes over, will actually finish up the exhaust and everything. So or at least tack it in so it's quieter so then when i start up the truck i can hear what's going on but um i'm gonna get to it i'm gonna get these supplies put away i'm gonna get the headers i'm actually gonna set them right up on here and do them up on here i don't have the battery hooked up or anything so it shouldn't hurt anything so i'll do them on tailgate and uh finish well the headers and then i'll get the headers in and hopefully we can finish up the exhaust if the headers don't take me too long and get this thing fired up but for sure i'm gonna get it fired up tonight that's not a that's not a doubt, so let's get to it and get this sucker fired up. I got the headers finish welded it looks nice turned out pretty good so some of them are kind of eh because i had to go over the welds that i had done with no gas and i didn't realize i had didn't have any gas so i'm gonna hose these down with brake clean after they cool down obviously they got all dirty when taking them off i don't want all kinds of oil and crap on them because uh then when i go to start up the truck it's gonna smoke and make a mess so once it cool down i'll clean them up um then when my buddy gets here well, he'll help me put them in. We'll put the spark plugs in and the spark plug wires on. Um, I got coolant sitting in it right now so it can uh, bubble a little bit. Then once the headers are in, I'll put the spark plugs in. Um, what else? Oh, my little breather. And then I really think that's about it for now. I'll measure for an air cleaner. So... I'm just kind of looking over, see what I got to do here, see what I got to clean up. I don't really think anything. How's my coolant doing? Oh, I got to add a little bit. And then I'll uh, get a squeezing on some hoses so I can bubble some coolant out. But other than that, I'm pretty impressed so far. Looking pretty good. Oh, I also added a little inline filter. Um, and, and one of those little Edelbrock ones on the fuel line. Um, the fuel pump was new when we got the truck, but basically new. Uh, I gotta wait to hook up the thermostat wire once I get the headers in because they go over the top of the headers um, Other than that, I'm looking and thinking at the same time here. and I really think it's pretty close. So I know oh one more thing I got to fix this transmission line here. I twisted it taking it off. I got a piece of Hard 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 rubber hose that won't break under pressure and then I'm gonna double clamp it. So um, I got some lines over here that I'll take a uh, fitting from to go in here and then have like it have like a two inch three inch piece of line and then cut this line off here and then double clamp it and hose it yada 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 so I think that's the return line anyway no that's the that's the feed line but it'll be okay I mean you run rubber hoses from your metal lines to transmission cooler so i'm not too concerned but other than that i think that's about it and i gotta put the hood on at some time but i can always do that anytime i just want to get the truck fired up so i'm gonna get to finishing this thing up uh i got some stuff to do hopefully my buddy shows up pretty soon so let's get to it let's get this truck fired up tonight
first start here, I turned it over with no battery wire on a distributor to get some oil pressure. Had good oil pressure, shoot. And fuel was coming to the carb, so now it looks like it should be able to start right up. It's probably gonna idle higher than a kite because the idle is gonna be on for the carburetor or for the choke, I mean, but I'll get timing set, and then once I get timing set, we'll uh, get it to 2,000 RPM and vary the RPM, but stay above 2,000. Hopefully, we can check for leaks, coolant, all kinds of stuff. So, might get a little long-winded here, but here goes the first start after the cam swap. see the timing mark on the balancer so I'm gonna have to mark that with a paint pen I'll be right back Looks like I got the distributor 180 degrees off so I'm going to move the distributor and then I'll come back
so it went pretty decent fired it up ran it at about two grand for about uh, 15 minutes or so uh valve train started getting a little noisy so now is what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull this valve cover off this was the side that i had that issue with the stud pulling i'm gonna pull this valve cover off start it up or i'll just even look at it and you might be able to see if it's pulled or not um if it isn't i'll start it up and then i'll put my hand on all the rockers to see which one is pulled or not um it's gonna take my nice clean motor and make it an absolute mess and then when i go to wash it it's probably gonna blast my paint off but at this point i'm just getting kind of pissed off for the lack of better terms so i'm gonna take this valve cover off and gonna start it up without the valve cover on see which ones are making noise it's probably gonna make a mess so all right go for it all right we're gonna make a mess we're gonna back this thing up so it makes noise again and then we're gonna turn it till it stops and then give it a half a turn like the rest of them and then we're just gonna say F it and run it so all right uh, let me get my rig around my hand you know, oil is hot as hell and it's going backwards right all right start it up can see all right guys um that's gonna wrap up the cam swap for now i'll have updates here and there but is what's going on so far i just gotta sit here and trial and error figure it out we started it up after we pulled the valve cover off and adjusted that clack we started it up again and it was clacking really bad it's like well what the heck so i pulled the valve cover back off again oh and it was missing like really bad so I pulled the valve cover back off again. Uh, went to look at the rocker arms. It's like, okay, it's not on this side. It's on the driver's side. So I put the valve cover back on. Then it was running like crap again. And I'm like, well, I'll give it a couple revs. I revved it maybe about a quarter throttle and it popped back through the carburetor. And I'm like, what the heck? But when it popped, all the, the rocker noise shut up and then it was smooth. It was running smooth, wasn't missing. I'm like, what the heck? So then I was kind of playing with it, you know, playing with the throttle a little bit. And I looked at my buddy and I'm like, well, here we go. I'm going to try it. And I just cracked it wide open and held it there a little bit. You know, not long enough to over rev it, but I cracked it wide open like that. And as I was doing that, it was smooth and it wasn't popping, but it was lifting my air cleaner spacer off about this high. And you could kind of hear it coming through the intake. So that tells me it's coming through the intake so i don't know if i got a junk lifter or what the deal is i don't think the popping has anything to do with the rocker arm i adjusted even though there's a lot of studs showing because that's an exhaust valve to me i feel like it'd come out the exhaust but who knows one of my other friends said when it sat the lifter could have collapsed for some reason because it's just a crappy lifter cheap lifter it could have collapsed and then when I first fired it up, it wasn't opening the intake valve, coming back through the intake, popping. But that doesn't explain why when it was smooth, it was still coming through the carburetor. So I got some figuring out to do. I'm going to come back on it tomorrow after work. I'll come out here and start it up and see how much noise it's making. Um, I'll try to get a video of starting it up. But for now, um, I'm going to just start it up and, and uh, see what it sounds like here. I'll have my friend start it up and uh we'll see what happens here and other than that if it was smooth it would be fine go ahead here it's running rough and it's clicking it didn't pop through the 
a carburetor, but now it's smooth and there's no clicking. Yeah, there's kind of a click on this side and that side, but... How's the oil? 60? 60 pounds oil. what to think guys but um i'll do some adjusting i'll give you updates but you're probably not going to see this truck a whole lot more i want to get the exhaust finished up you'll see me finish up the exhaust so you'll get some videos on that but I'm hoping next week i get a call for the transmission um and then i hope i can start working on the ls truck um that should be a lot easier to do so other than that thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i'll give you an update on this and see what i got going on but please like, please comment, let me know how I'm doing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.